Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I made a video a few years ago about basic dental care and what kind of items you might want to stockpile for emergencies. I've been going through my supplies and I thought it was a great time to inventory my dental hygiene basic supplies and my dental emergency kit. I thought I would share with you the supplies that I have for basic dental care and for a dental emergency kit. First you need your basic supplies of toothbrushes, toothpaste. It's easy and inexpensive to have a lot of those on hand. You can pick some up at the dollar store, at the discount stores, and your dentist probably gives you a few when you go in to see him. Make sure you have a nice supply of toothpaste. One of the toothpaste suggestions that my dental hygienist gave me was to stock up on sensitive toothpaste. If you have a sensitive part along your gum line, dab the sensitive toothpaste onto the sensitive spot and it can actually help it to feel better. It's also important to floss regularly. You can use string type floss or the floss picks. Find the one that's easiest for you to use and then have a few extras of those. Plus just having dental floss is a great way to have cordage that's lightweight, it's super strong, and it can be used for a lot of other things. So I highly recommend that you stock up on dental floss. If there are places in your mouth that are hard to get clean, look for Proxa brush or dental brushes. They're tiny little brushes that you can reach into places between your teeth and gums, even into the back of your mouth, and can help clean out places that are hard to reach. Those are all great basic supplies. Those should all be a part of your hygiene kit then what do you need in an actual dental emergency kit? My number one suggestion is salt. You can solve a lot of problems in your mouth with a swish with a saline solution. Salt dissolved in some warm water, swish it all around. It can solve everything from a sore spot on your gum to a sore throat. Having a small container of salt in your dental emergency kit helps you not only to remember that salt water works great, but it also has it in a place that you need it in times of emergency. Peroxide also is good for swishing around in your mouth or dabbing it onto a sore spot on your gum, but overuse of it can actually be harmful. So you might want to consider getting something like a peroxyl rinse. It has the correct proportions to heal and soothe any sores or issues that you might have in your gums or in your mouth. Petroleum jelly and lip balm are also nice to have because if the areas around your lips and mouth become too dried out, they can crack. Soothe and protect your lips and around your mouth to try to prevent some of these emergencies from happening. Then in the event that you did have an emergency, say a tooth came loose or a crown fell out, you can use petroleum jelly to seal off that portion until you have a chance to get to the dentist for a dental emergency. Another item that's great for emergencies is a Dentec emergency kit. It can help repair lost fillings, loose caps, and is a nice temporary solution to what could seem like a big emergency. Always include a few of your standard emergency supplies with your dental hygiene and emergency kit. Have a few disposable gloves, some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and some cotton rounds. A small bottle of an over-the-counter pain medication. We know that we have a lot of these supplies on hand, but sometimes having them in place when you have a dental emergency, you can pull out your dental emergency kit and you have everything on hand. Putting together a dental hygiene and emergency kit helps you be prepared to face whatever comes your way. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone you think would also enjoy it. You can read more about various topics at alaskagranny.com and I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.